you know, I went to another church, man. I, I forget the name of the time, but they call it the Apostolic Church or Apostolic, Apostolic Church. You know, it's on Garden Street. Why? You know, why would they put Apostolic Church on Garden Street? It's more than garden the street people, you know? We're not trying to put street people into powerful positions, you know? We need people to get educated and educate themselves into new life, you know? But why we're trying to teach them to tend to the garden of their families, you know? And why we're trying to teach them to tend to the garden of their lives. You know, we got missionaries and guardians. And we need more guardians and more missionaries. You know? I mean, can you hear what I'm saying? Did I just say a guardian or a garden? You know? It's like I got a garden street. So it's like I've got people on one side of the street, and I got people on the other side of the street. And I'm like, how do I get those people on that side of the street to talk to those people on that side of the street? Well, the good people whoosh, are trying to be the guardians whoosh, to help the bad people. They're not necessarily bad, they just lack of education and training. They didn't get enough to eat, man. So we made dietary programs and food stamps and all kinds of stuff so they could go out shopping. And then people complain about what they're buying. It's like, anybody ever go out to them and try to help them shop? You know? They got shop with a cop. Did you see the shop with a cop? I'm like, you mean to tell me you wait till Christmas these people go shop with a cop trying to get a Christmas present? You know? Did they, hey, did they ever think about maybe shop with an educator? You know? Hey, what am I supposed to eat, man? Well, you're eating a bunch of junk, you know? It's okay to get junk every now and then to splurge, you know, because... People growing up, you know, hey, I'd, I'd like to have a, a little bit of cake, man, a little bit of a uh, candy bar, and maybe a, you know? And that stuff is good, you know? It's like, man, you ever had a payday? It's like, they named a the candy bar payday, you know why? It's got protein in it, you know? Then we made protein bars. We're like, hey, this is kind of good. Did you, hey, you want to be an astronaut one day? Look, here, eat this, this Milky Way, man. It's a real treat. If you get an education, you can go to the Milky Way one day. We're building that stuff, you know? But, you know, if you're going to get a good payday like that, you got to, you know, think about your nutrition. Here, you got a payday? You know, the NASA guy, when I was growing up, he's like, hey, man, you want a payday? Here, eat this payday. I'm like, man, it's got peanuts and nutrition in it. It's like, yeah, man, you know, protein. You need protein in your diet. Here's a payday. Pfft. You know, food for the mind, you know? And like, man, did anybody ever go and shot with those people like that? Probably not, you know? Hey, not too much candy, though, you know? You got to have, like, you know, good stuff, you know? They go, you see at this candy bar you eat at the end of the week, every day, at the end of the week, it's like, man, here's a, here's a street. Oh, man, candy bar, yeah, yeah, you know? They're like, man, they had to wait all week to get that candy bar. But they had to wait all week to get that paycheck. They had to wait all week to go through school to get to the next week, you know? Hey, did you get enough God today? Here, hold on. Not enough? Okay, come back tomorrow on Sunday. We got a little bit more, you know? And it's like, you know... What can I do? It's like, well, you know, did you go to church? You know, like a first gentleman and a first lady? You know? It's like when you go to that church, man, you know, those preachers, you know, they preach and they teach and stuff, you know, and every every church got a different style, you know? New Life got a style. Rockets Christian Center got a style. Eastern Christian Center, they got a style. Everybody got a style, man. I'm like, you guys think about those church missions? How are they going to learn to go on a church mission if they're not church hopping? I says, you know, maybe, maybe they go to one church and listen to that preacher, man, they're really teaching stuff, you know? But, you know, they need an the interceder, you know? It's like an interceder, yeah, you know, like a conversation, you know? Like a group conversation, like group therapy, man. It's like, you know, now that I remember, one of these, I was studying all these preachers, these doctors, these kids, these children, these military injured, you know, kids and bad environment kids and everything else, man. It's like, it was like looking at a madhouse. And I'm like, man, why they got me watching all this stuff? 
you know, and it's like, well, you know, and then it's seeing if I'm going to escape and, and try to help people and all this other stuff, and it's like, boom, Navy Master Chief, man, boom, the Navy gets me, they send me down to, like, Space Coast, and I'm like, man, what do you want me to do on a Space Coast, and I'm like, well, hold on, you know, and the kids are acting crazy there, too, I'm like, man, I left, and it says, well, hold on, I'll be right back, you know, like Jesus, thousands of years ago, man, and I'm like, man, the day room is what they were calling it, man. It was charter academies, like those ships that come across the ocean and land on the shores. They had the right charters because they didn't know how to write laws yet because everybody spoke a different language. So it was like rules and regulations, you know. And I'm like, you know, how am I supposed to teach that? And it was like, well, I went to a charter academy and it said, look at all these people that can't communicate. This is why we had to write charters before we get to a system of law. Some states got these laws, some states got that law, and then the states that start working together, and then maybe we get the people to work together. You know? So they just call it day room, and it's like, man, most people don't know what a day room means. It's like, what well, if I got the light of day into a classroom, I sign a little light into their minds, you know, then maybe they get some wisdom. So he says, well, We'll put the wisdom guys to sleep, send them out there like secret Samaritan warriors, you know, like the good Samaritans, good shepherds. And when they wake up, they'll save as many as they can. My dad says to me, we're trying to save lives. This is more, more than just the blood that runs through their veins and the food that they eat, but their brains, man. It's some of these places it's like the zombie apocalypse. I'm like, man, what happened to those people? And someone looked at me and said, drugs. I was like, whoa. You know? So I go to this East Christian Center over there in Rockledge, Florida, and it's like, man, you know this guy, he's preaching all this stuff out of the Bible like crazy. He remember the numbers, the verses, everything. And I'm like, man, that guy really knows his Bible. And he's like, yeah, but he's trying to learn something from the people in the church. Every time he preaches at the end of the church session, he says, you anybody got any questions? Come on, let's talk about it. He'll pass the microphone around, let them talk a little bit, you know? Get people to speak up about their lives and maybe the ministers can help them a little more, you know? And it's like, man, he goes, well, did you go to New Life? Did you go to First Christian Church? Hey, did you go to that New Grove Church? You know, what about Impact Church, man? It's like, man, I had to go down somewhere and I'm talking to him and I say, like, man, I go over there and I'm like, man, I, come, I drove all the way to Virginia, man. Department of Defense and drove all the way back down here. And I'm like, man, I got these tour guides and stuff that trying to give people different kind of education, you know? But the different geographic, you know, standards and those geographic standards, man, some of those people might want to learn about geography, not just to go on adventures and be philanthropists and stuff and scientists and stuff, but so they understand, you know, some of those nutritionists, you know, they, they look at a book and like, here's a nutritionist, what you got? Hey, did you ever think if you go on a mission somewhere and it's like, man, I'm over here, but they ain't got that stuff that I got in that book. What else can I improvise with? And it's like, man, then you got Hell's Kitchen. Like, if I'm studying the geography channel, I'm learning to be a nutritionist. I need to know a little more about that geography that's out there. And they got, you know, Gordon Ramsay. It's like, man, did they read the story in the Bible that says, please don't destroy the people. Look, I'll sacrifice the ram. And it's like, well, rams, you see? Then you know what? It's like Gordon, man, like Kiss Commissioner Gordon saying, hey, I need Batman, like, to go out there. Instead of being a thief in the night, I need to be like a rescuer, you know? I need to rescue somebody, like a preacher, you know? Just, hey, did you know we got night services too? He's like, why did the church used to have night services? Because we want knights in shining armor out there in the dark, man, with those shields on, the shields of God, you know, protecting the environment and the community. It's like, man, did you get some nutrition and stuff? He says, well, you know, if they're out there in the desert, man, they don't know anything about that. You got to watch the geography channel. They go, man, Will Smith's doing something on that right now. You know, that guy's like men in black, you know, men in black, man. You know, like that alien show. It's like, man. You know, we got some alien environments out there we need to fix. It's like, pff, get Will Smith. Pff. That's what Geographic is like. Man, we got Will Smith doing that right now. When God makes a move, man, with the people of God, it's like the entire United States move. It doesn't matter where we are in our lives. It's like, man, can we get everybody back in the church? We need people to go to people and be like, hey, we're trying to do something cool now. You know, and they're like, Whew. man, what is it? It's just, I don't know. I got some crazy minister doing crazy stuff everywhere. And all of a sudden, now we got these crazy ministers running all over the place doing crazy stuff. You know, and it's like, it gets everybody's attention. It's like, man, did you get distracted or what, man? I says, I don't know. Some of those people, all they're doing is eating candy and sugar and bad junk food and watching movies and stuff. They were supposed to watch those movies and learn something. But how can they learn something? They ain't going to church. They can't get into church and at least go to school. 
And if you can't go to school, man, we built, you know, community centers. But, man, they go to the community centers. Like, man, all they do is swing around a bunch of rackets, man. It's like a racket. Hey, let's go play racquetball. There's no teacher there going, hey, you see this racquetball? I'm hitting this ball into a wall and it's bouncing back, you know, into a wall, bouncing back. Don't let your life be a racket, you know, like a ball bouncing off the wall, you know. Hey, they need those family take their kids, play racquetball and say, look, don't need you bouncing off the walls when you're home. So we're going to play racquetball, bounce the ball off the wall. The way you settle down some. Hey, don't want to sit them in front of a TV, you know, tell them, hey, turn it off and go get some physical activity, you know. That's why you're going to look as big as a balloon, man. You're just sitting on the couch watching movies and playing video games. You need a little bit of sunlight. They're like, man, some of those people look like they're in one of those research foundations underground, man. You know, you got scientists underground doing research and stuff. Some of those people that walk out there on the beach, they're like, man, they look like I've seen a ghost, man. Where have you guys been? Were you in one of those mountain facilities or what? And it's like, no, man, I just sit at home a lot and play the video game. I was like, you got to get out more, you know? That kind of stuff. You know, it's like, man, when you go to church, you just make a quick stop and say, hey, tell me something, you know? But you actually talk to that preacher, you know? Every time they go down there and say, hey, I need you to come. Anybody need to be saved today? They're thinking it's like, man, anybody need to say, okay, you're saved. I let Jesus in your life. Let's get baptized and I'll splash a little water on you. You know, it's like, do you need to get saved today? What's going on, you know? And not just you. You know, if the husband goes down there and say, where's your wife at? You need to bring her too. And the wife goes down and says, I need to be saved. And you say, okay, bring your husband too. You know, save them both together, you know. Like, hey, do you have a significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend here? Hey, bring them down here with you too. We'll save it both together. You know, family values, faith and family values, you know. That's what you need back in a church. You know, do it like we used to do, you know. Hey, you need, you feel like you need to be saved, man. You're going to fall apart. Okay. Bring your other half down here too, you know. If the body's like a whole, you know, and two is joined as one, it's like, man, you're getting down here trying to get saved and you only brought half of your body, man. Go get the other part of your body and we'll save you together. You know, like that. You know, that's what they need to start doing in a church.